Can you have a timetable for recovery and what the step? Not at this point, at this, uh, because uh, he went through extensive testing today, MRI. Um, they're going to uh, wait a couple days, let it calm down. Uh, I'm sure at some point we'll get a second opinion. But um, I don't know the severity of it, but it's not a, a, a mild. I'm not expecting them back in 10 days by any means at this point. It's, we'll, we'll see how severe it ends up being, but um, it's got the potential of being a major injury. I'm, I'm disappointed, just like him. Um, you know, he, we talked we talk about it last night, talk about it today. I mean, what can I say? You know, people get frustrated. He knows, you know, it's a, it's a freak accident, let's be honest. He's not the first guy that slams a glove or throws a bat or punches himself. But it is what it is. We, we have to move on, you know. And we got Bobby here. Uh, we got some capable guys down there in AAA. Um, is it the perfect situation? Of course not, you know. And, and he was throwing the ball well. He was becoming the guy that... We thought he was, you know, me coming in into the situation. I saw him last year towards the end. It looks like he was making strides, and now the last 10 days he was throwing the ball well. But now we have to move on. I don't know about the whole eighth, eighth inning. I, I do feel our guys can get out, you know, from from whenever they come in, and, and we go with the, with the matchups. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but I do feel with how versatile they are, we, we can maneuver the, the last third of the game. Um, as you know, there's, there's guys that they can catch up with the fastball up. So we, we, we go with uh, Heath, who can cut it down in the zone and then throw sliders. If they're low ball hitters, then Barnes, he can go up and throw the breaking ball. So it's just a matter of uh, what we see before the series, the matchups that we feel comfortable with, and we go there.